My name is Bob Gore. I'm a photographer and I've enjoyed a lifelong career in television. One of my major projects that's coming up is a new book called My Haiti. It is a display of the fine work and the wonderful people I've come to know in northern Haiti. I first was introduced to Haiti at the age of nine years old from a Jet Magazine article where Mahalia Jackson, one of the great gospel singers of all time, was there to celebrate the 200th anniversary of Capetian, the earliest capital of Haiti. Over the years, a variety of friends and reading has informed my knowledge of Haiti and has stoked my interest to the point where I'm really on fire about what's going on and the possibilities and the photographs that I hope will also engage you similarly. But my major investment to the organization has been through my photography. Uh, my photography has been uh, a tool and a voice and a way of representing the work that uh, we hope will uh, engage others through their support. And so for the next few minutes, I want to share with you uh, some of the photographs that uh, I've had the pleasure of, of making but also, these are photographs that are part of uh, an upcoming volume, an upcoming book called uh, My Haiti. An African American f explores the land of his dreams. And that African American is me. Each morning, the children arrive at our school, and the day begins with this. who care for the sick and the injured is an important activity for Bethlehem ministry. Doctors, nurses, pharmacists, and dentists have all been provided advanced training at our clinic. But in addition, teachers, tap-tap drivers, and others who come in contact with injured along the way have been given first aid training. My photographs and videos cover much of this activity during my visits, and my son, Dr. Robert Gore, has been involved. Not just treating patients, but um, providing additional resources, mainly through education, so that we can become obsolete. So this trip, this trip we just focused on teaching, teaching healthcare professionals, and teaching um, other community people on basic emergency medicine care and management, uh, laying down the foundation for pre-hospital care. Okay. Stand up. This is a splint. Okay. Take him to the doctor. I've had the privilege over the years to photograph the fine work of our physicians and other health care providers at our clinic. I see the children and the elderly and everyone in between come sick and over the days and weeks restored to health, receiving quality care. I hope these images will engage you in the same way the sites engaged me. Many of our patients have never seen a doctor or a dentist. Prenatal care for women was completely lacking until our clinic was opened. The number one cause of death of women in Haiti is death during childbirth. Proper pediatric care that's provided for not only the children in our school, 
for all children throughout the region ensures that life begins with a healthy start. Thank you for watching. But before you go, here are some additional photographs that are in my Haiti. An African American explores the land of his dreams. My Haiti. Parallels between the Haitian and African American experiences are many. The people and the cultures have been intertwined since arriving in the New World. Since its independence in 1804, Haiti has been an inspiration to African Americans. Both populations came in chains to man the plantations and to enrich Europe. Over the centuries, both have continued to seek equal justice. I am enamored with the beauty, the industry, and the resiliency of the community I've come to know and love. My images of these people who have encountered much adversity lift my heart and have inspired others. Some ask me, how do people of such meager means continue while looking so good? I say they do it with pride.